Hello, travelers. As most of you already know, we are on Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas. We're on deck nine, room 109. We are gonna give you a tour of our cabin. We have an inside cabin. We just want you to see, a lot of people think the inside cabin would be too small and unmanageable to navigate, but you're gonna be amazed at how spacious it is. Um, so we have our room key. It works just like you would expect, and it's good because it also contains your dining and your drinks. And we also have all the doors and walls here magnetic. Not everyone knows that, but this is your do not disturb sign. This is what you would put up if you need some time privately just to recover from your adventure. And this is the sign you would put up if you're ready for your state room attendant to come and freshen things up for you. So we'll leave this here for now. All right. So as soon as you walk in, we have your huge closet. We were very surprised by the size. And they give you plenty of hangers. We wanted you to see what this looked like lived in. So here's all our things. And we still have hangers to spare. There's storage down at the bottom if you need shoes or place for your bags. And the doors, if you start closing them over, they finish closing themselves, so be careful with your fingers. This side is shelves. Look at all of that you can fit in there. Amazing. Ooh, we might have some explaining to do. Why? With the suspenders and oh, the well, bow ties. We're here for a conference and we have theme nights. Explanation. <laughs> That's our superhero stuff on the bottom. We had a glow party. It was a blast. We also have a safe here. It works the same as any hotel safe. You enter a code while it's open and you push pound and close it and it locks and then you enter that same code and pound to reopen it. Something else I wanted to point out, you if you're in this side getting your outfit out for the evening, but you need to grab something, your partner needs to grab something out of this side, it's not going to work. You're going to knock their door closed. So just be prepared for that too. Here is our laboratory. It can be uh, intimidating picking up a uh, water closet in your room, inside stateroom, but honestly, we were very impressed. It's not a closet at all. So we have this beautiful shower here in the corner. Nice capsule. Um, and of course the wand. You can change the settings. Massage setting, rain setting. And it comes off. So let me show you. Bam! Easy shower. And they provide you a hair and body wash if you forget to bring something with you. It's a little pump action in there. And they have places to store your own stuff. A place to hang the washcloth underneath your faucet there. We have this high-powered toilet. It's amazing. It uses so little water, and it, but it flushes so fast. Lots of hand towels, washcloths shelves in here too. If you don't have enough storage out there, you've got this storage here. Beautiful. So now I'm going to switch it over to Jeremy so he can show you the rest of the room. Oh, well I guess I have to finish my job guys. I'm sorry. I want to just show you the drawers. So we do have five drawers here and they're very deep. You can fit a lot in there. There's Jeremy's formal vest, some of the goodies we've gotten from our friends here on board. And yeah, and then this one's a little wider, a little deeper. Oh, and look at this. Today, our wonderful stateroom attendant, John, left us a map of Coco Cay. That's where we're going to be tomorrow. We're so excited. So. I guess now I can turn it over to Jim. And hello, travelers. <laughs> so, as Amanda showed you, the first half of the room 
much more spacious. Um, honestly, first time in an inside cabin, I was thinking that the bed was going to be in a room about the size of the bathroom. That that was what I had heard uh, from others who had come before me, uh, not necessarily on this ship, but in general, <clears throat> just very small on the inside staterooms. But as you can see, to the left and to the right, look at all this space. <laughs> we got so much more activities done. <laughs> So, as we come in further from where Amanda had just left off, we have, believe it or not, in every inside stateroom, not a mini fridge, but it is a cooler. And everyone's allowed to, well, each cabin is allowed to bring on up to two bottles of wine, which, as you can see, we have done. And also, well, where'd our champagne go, dear? It is already put away because we can't drink all of this <laughs> while we're here. We're being That's reasonable. Fair. That's fair. Believe it or not, we're working. This is work. So we have our wine cooler. Then we also have a lovely little set of pajamas. I just think that's a great place to put your pajamas during the day if you don't want to take them in and out of drawers. If it won't be in John's way when he goes to make the bed, but it's also accessible for me. But as you can see, we do have this wonderful little low back chair, workstation. We have spent absolutely no time here because we work wherever we are. But look, see this handle here? Very, very handy feature so that you don't have to try and, you know, awkwardly with both hands or if you have something in your other hand you need to set down. Very easy in and out on the, the work chair here. To this side, we have, uh, I love doing the furniture into the room because uh, I get to do this. <laughs> Wonderful little armchair. Here's my friend that John left us in the room yesterday. Um, incredible things that they can do with towels and a hanger. Uh, couldn't bear to uh, unfold him last night, so we're just going to leave him hanging. But comfortable chair. And now on to the rest of the room. This is a standard king. It's actually a split twin. Um, <clears throat> I myself have only found the split in the king once since we've been here. It's pretty seamless, very comfortable. Um, and I did want to mention that this is the state of the bed post sleep. Um, <laughs> John, our cabin steward, has done a wonderful job. He comes in, makes the room up twice a day. If we get a midday nap, he'll come in later in the evening. He'll make the bed again. This is just kind of how we threw it together for the sake of the video. Then on either side, you have a bit of, a bit of a tight space, but you have space to get in to your nightstand, two shelves, nightstands on either side. This is your nightlight but it also controls the overhead light. Yay! So you don't have to worry about hitting the switch and then stumbling to the bed in the dark. One more feature that I wanted to show you is for those of you who have never cruised before. You have bags with you, obviously not that much space in the closet to keep empty bags, so under the bed, you have plenty of storage space. Now, we do have two bags and one's inside the other right now, but should you have a family of four, I don't think you can put a family of four in an inside cabin, but they can split the twins. Okay, so you don't have to necessarily <laughs> have just the king bed. You can split the twins so you can sleep separately if you want, but with the king configuration, you have plenty of room, and also with the split twin, mind you, so that you can just Slide your bag underneath there, just kind of forget about it until you're ready to start putting your clothes back in the bag to travel home. So, oh, also, wonderful flat screen TV. We somehow forgot because it's tucked so conveniently right here and against the wall. And I know what you're thinking, oh, well, how would you see that from the bed? But, boom, that's how you see it from the bed. <laughs> we have the remote control somewhere. Yep. Irrelevant. Yeah. We're not turning it on. 
Sorry, we don't have time for that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that is a short tour of our cabin, 9109, inside forward cabin here on Symphony of the Seas. What's going on with my hair? It's looking beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. It's a little different to have the length, so. Mm. So, overall, I'm sure you're impressed as we are. It's very elegant in the design. Everything fits together so nicely in here. I wouldn't have thought we'd have a desk or a chair to sit down in. Mm -hmm. But this room is as nice as any hotel you'll stay in, and it's an inside. And another really nice feature of an inside room, and I should have mentioned this when I hit the light switch earlier. You can tell, though. Oh, my Lord, is it dark. Um, you know, not that there's anything wrong with having ocean view, balcony, but you are going to get some light coming in from outside. So if you are a light sleeper, if you need that extra level of just sheer midnight in your room, the inside is the way to go. Here, let me demonstrate one more time. Oh, my Where God. Here we go. Oh, there we are. <laughs> All right. Do you have anything else, dear? I think that's it for now. Just keep your eyes on the Facebook. We will be posting a lot more once we get home because we're going to have to catch up on the things we didn't tell you. Yes, we have been trying to keep you filled in on the big things, the important things, obviously going live every day. Um, but we have so much content to cover with you mm -hmm. uh, from this cruise. And as Amanda said, tomorrow we will be at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So excited. Um, <laughs> just a, a ton of activities on what is basically a brand new private island owned by Royal Caribbean. It's only been open since May. So we will be going live from Coco Cay tomorrow. And I know you've heard me mention before that I'm super excited about their... <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Their amazing feature on the island called Up, Up, and Away. It's a tethered hot air balloon. But we found out, of course, that it only goes up if the wind is safe. So yes. keep some good thoughts going, positivity, that Up, Up, and Away will be functioning tomorrow. If Up, Up, and Away is functioning tomorrow, we may be coming to you live from 450 feet above ground level on Coco Cay. And that'd be a great way for you guys to get a look at the island. Oh, my Lord. All right, now I think we're for real done. I think we're for real done. <laughs> but wait, one more thing. Not really. No. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great night, and make sure to send in those questions. Uh, if you have any, we'll send them in. We'll answer them for you between now and the end of the cruise. All okay? Bye-bye. Right.